What is up, guys? It is AJ from MMA Experts, and we are talking about the fight between Andrew Sanchez and Wellington Turman. What a big knockout for Andrew Sanchez. The fight looked good as was starting out in the first round. Turman looked all right, but I could tell Sanchez was getting a bit of the better of him. Boom. Big knockout win. Andrew Sanchez looked on point. Honestly, this is probably the best I've seen Sanchez look. Maybe comparable to his ultimate fighter performance against Eric Spicely, where he quickly knocked him out. I was super impressed by it. Very impressive. Got himself a performance of the night. Awesome knockout. What is next for Andrew Sanchez after this big win? Because let's be honest, this is the biggest win he's had in a while. I believe that he is on a little bit of a streak now. No, excuse me, lost to Marvin Vittori in his last fight. But if you look, he's won three out of his last four. And obviously, Marvin Vittori has turned out to be a very good fighter. But let's look at the rankings. So he was ranked. This is obviously not the official rankings, but it has the whole weight classes rankings. This is ranking MMA. So I like looking at it to get an idea. Um, so let's see. Andrew Sanchez sitting at 29 approximately in the weight class. Who would be next for him? So I actually think maybe you put him in there against Darren Stewart, who won later on in the night. They both got quick finishes. I think they'd both be ready for a quick turnaround. Maybe we see that fight somewhere towards the end of this month or maybe even towards the middle of next month if they're ready for that quick turnaround. As I know Darren Stewart talked about the possibility of turning around very quickly after his win against Mackie Pitolo. Very impressed, though, by Andrew. Let's talk about Wellington Terman and see what's next for him. So if you look down at the rankings, I think, I mean, he beat Marcus Perez, which is an impressive win, in my opinion. I could see them maybe giving him somebody like Roman Kapilov, maybe, or Anthony Hernandez. Yes, Anthony Hernandez and Marcus Perez fought, and Hernandez was stopped by submission in the second round, but I feel like styles make fights. I like the idea of either Anthony Hernandez versus the very tough Wellington Terman or we do the fight with Roman Kapilov I feel like those make the most sense in terms of rankings in terms of wins and losses I like the idea of those fights but overall what a performance by Andrew Sanchez was super impressed by him congrats I mean just awesome performance this is the best he's looked I think Andrew Sanchez is a legit guy at 185 pounds do I think he's going to be the world champion probably not but I really think he can make a run towards the maybe back end of the top 20 even in the top 15 possibly granted there's going to be guys that are going to be able to beat him he's shown that but at the end of the day he is a solid guy and a very fun guy to watch and another impressive win here but all right guys that is pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe turn on those post notifications also follow my social medias instagram and twitter thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the next video